Howdy y'all. So um, I finally just now ripped up the uh, tripod box that I've been carrying around. You know, I didn't even read the instructions. There's little bolts here on the floor. Here's my mess I have going on. And so as far as my room, you can see very sparse conditions. The little fan that I made, I was like my little paper projects and then my, uh, I, how do you say, very quickly, because I don't want to really share it. <laughs> um, the, not affirmations, but just like quotes and reminders that I got. So I'm in Alaska, you know, here working in the kitchen. Actually, this is my little kitchen, not kitchen uniform. I can wear whatever I want, but black is easy. <laughs> and this time I only brought with me my um, uh, backpack that carries my laptop with uh some colored pencils i need color in my life and then um that also carries my planner and my little rolling case so as far as my living conditions the work provided living condition you know where there's a, a employer provided room and board and then so actually right now um on my time as of for today it's probably like around 9 5 a.m and I'm usually at the gym at this time. So like I do breakfast, I uh, start my day say by 5 a.m. in the kitchen. It can be anywhere as four. That's usually earlier on in the week, depending on how much prep I have to do. And then I do my best to end um, working backwards. And then, so those are things that I'm working on and that I'm actually making note of here in my journal. And then that's what prompted me to do this video. Shit's getting out of control. <laughs> out of control in a, in a way that, um, this is, I feel like very revealing, maybe like in a vulnerable, um, state. Um, um, just, I'm tired of my bullshit. And then, so, um, I, you know, sat down, I, um, sorry, um, with the intention of going to the gym, you know, as I usually do on my other days. But today I was just like, you know what? I got caught up and that's okay because that's ultimately what's going to pay, pay off more. No excuses, but, um, as far as writing in my journal and then things that, um, I guess I've been working on for a while. And so just right now, it's just at the point, oh gosh, I feel like it's, um, you know, sometimes you just get tired of your own bullshit. And I guess that's not, I guess that is where I'm at right now. That is definitely where I'm at. And then, so I've been on this, um, wealth building quest for a while. So we are now in 2024. It's the end of September. And I started this in 2018, aggressively working towards my money goals. Um, and I'm just been stagnant stagnant and so there's things that i have in in the works in progress uh, works in progress but then at the same time i'm just like works in progress and but nothing like i feel like like nothing is happening at the same time i am very have been very persistent in uh reconditioning my mind and obsessively reconditioning my mind and um, that is what I've been doing. So actually right now I'm revisiting a book that I did earlier this year of uh, the Jen Sincero, um, so You Are a Badass. I think that was her first book from this series. So then the one that I'm revisiting right now is, is that You Are a Badass at Making Money. And then so I remember the first time I did it, what, I think it would have been like over the summer. So like maybe like in May, June around that period. So 2024. And then I had told myself that I would make it a point to read it physically so that I could take notes because there's some exercises within the books that she calls for. She shares about if you haven't um, read any one of her books, um, it talks about her, basically she was tired of being broke, you know, and then uh, like these exercises, you know, she hires a coach and then some of the exercises that she does as part of like her and her quest to double her income, triple her income or whatever her money goals were for her at the same time. I mean, but the point was, is not the money, it was to change her life. So as to um, like the, you know, addressing like the why behind it. So that's where I'm at. I'm um, right now. I like working in the kitchen 
because then I was looking forward to coming back and being in this setting so that I could read my books um and when I say reading you know like on audio because I am in the kitchen by myself so I don't do uh, the social media thing unless it's like Earl Nightingale like I'm gonna listen to like Jim Rohn um and things of that sort I even cut out say for the purpose of my um mental not clarity but just like to minimize like I don't want trauma to reside in my mind anymore you know and then so like there's a lot of things that I've let go of and so like I don't listen to like the true uh, like the true crime like I used to because it's not I know that fear how do you say um not fear what is it uh danger is out there but it's not where I want to live and then so I've, I've probably said it before I know I definitely said it to my mom and I said I was just like you know what I say no that it's out there I've been exposed to it but it's not what I want to it's and then I'm grateful that that I'm sufficiently aware of it so that I know how to take care of myself and you know what to be cognizant on the things that you should be aware of but it's not where I want to live anymore I'm I want to live in a I intend that I live in a world of prosperity and of wealth and abundance and where good people are and place myself in the middle of that and to work towards being a better person. And so with today, I was sitting at the table um, in the dining room. So it is a hard, I don't cry often, but today I feel like I want to. And so my life is maybe others would consider relatively privileged, <laughs> relatively minimal responsibility. Um, like I live free in the life of a gypsy, uh, a life, and I like my life. I love my life and I want to continue. I intend that I continue being a gypsy. <laughs> and so but at a different level and i've been wanting and yearning for that so much so much for s god here's years years where it is becoming and i've had this in moments before but now it's just like it's resides resides uh, my mind is usually clear and so um when feelings come upon me they take even a greater presence because they're not distracted by clutter and activity and chaos. It's me with my feelings. And so, um, and this book, so I'm sitting there at the dining table and I was writing my notes, doing my, um, and I'll show you my mind map quick. <laughs> I can go over this later. I feel more comfortable sharing blank pages, but it's a three month mind map. And, you know, you can do it in images. It's your book, right? You know, so you can do it however you want. But I find it, um, I like it best, you know, to, to write. And so, um, and the author, as she's going through her personal story as to, like, how she, um, the different streams of income that she was creating. And then so I sat there and I finally, this time around, I am doing some of the manual exercises and so rather than going to the gym, I was like, you know what? This deserves some time and attention. Um, I've been saying that I want to go back to Vegas or my intention is to go back to Vegas. But I'm like, I'm scared. I'm scared that I'm going to go back to the same thing, that I'm going to become the same person, that I'm going to live under the same conditions. And this is what I concluded the other day. And I was like, I'm just scared, like that I'm not going to be able to afford the life that I want to give myself. And I don't want to live in the ghetto anymore. I like, and I mean, you know, just like I don't want to live. I, I want. I want to live. I intend that I live in a in an area where that I feel safe. Um, that I can. That my neighbors are of a different sort, <laughs> where there's not so much anger. I feel that oftentimes, you know, in the more like economically depressed areas. And I was like, you get anger, and I don't feel like fighting at the laundromat anymore. Like, I'm not about it. And so I'm doing the math. I'm looking. There's an apartment. I used to have a small house cleaning business. And there was a customer, one of my cleaning uh, clients that I had. And I liked his apartment. 
not because he had it decorated in any way. I just felt that it was safe. Like I liked the setup of it and I want to live there. And so I looked at the rents today. I'm like, oh, holy shit. So the rents are anywhere for, say it's like a one bedroom for like 17 to $2,400. And I'm like, oh my God, that just sounds like right now because I may be relative. I don't have to pay for anything. I was like, that sounds like, oh, I don't even have a job over there. <laughs> so if I go back to Vegas to commit myself to that much, and I'm just like, I know for another person, that's probably like cheap living, but as a single person, um, it would be it's a it seemed like a feels like a stretch knowing that I would be returning with no income and so I guess that's me living out of fear but um so where I'm at this morning is in that I want to I intend that um I get things going then I continuously say you know that I'm going to do these videos regularly two times a week is what I had told myself but I'm like you know I haven't been putting with that my intention was is this so, so that I could learn editing skills so that I could make it more interesting rather than just you know like this like a total FaceTime so then that way I could share more things and the exercises and the books and, and the readings um I say reading lists I give myself homework assignments there's so many books that, that I that are on my list that are waiting for me to tend to and to develop myself as a person um so some of the exercises so the exercises today and I'm just like okay so I set myself a new money goal and and I'm like how am I gonna do this how 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 like um and that's why I just decided to sit at the table and continue writing rather than interrupt my thoughts because it's difficult for me i know they say that you know the same problem that the same mind that created the problem isn't going to be the same mind that that solves the problem and so i honestly i came here to my room so i could pray i talk to god often and every day and all the time but today I feel but today I do feel that it deserves me getting on my knees y suplicando I don't know what the word is in English but that's the word my grandmother would use is suplicar which is in essence like and I'm not desperate and I don't want things to become that to reach that point but supplement not supplement i don't know what the word is but to ask not out of neediness and not out of desperation but just out of sheer like god i don't know what to do how to change how to change how do i solve my situation how do i become how do i build a bridge to this is where i'm at to this is where i want to go how do i get across it where is it where's that path what do I need to do? When I wrote in my book today, I was just like, um, part of my a spiritual development or per personal slash spiritual, because to me, the money thing is the spiritual, the, the, the money, my money growth is a spiritual thing. It's not an, an ego. It's not for the sake of ego. It's, this is definitely has been a spiritual exercise. And, um, it's like, how do I get from here to here? This is where I'm at. This is where I want to go. How, 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 how? So that's the question that lives in my mind. And so with this uh, book that I've been following along, um, just, um, you know, the author, she's helped people, mainly primarily women, like build their own businesses and has helped others. And so with the message that she is sharing, it's helping me. And so I'm just sharing this. So just to share, <laughs> to share. And how they say, mm, there's nothing new under the sun. So I know that my, the feelings that I'm, feelings that I'm experiencing are not unique. They may be somewhat unique to me, to the depth or how I'm experiencing. They're not new to me. But um, so with that, I just figure that they might be 
I might share these feelings in common with someone else. So that's where we're at. And then um, with this, I've decided that I am going to write, be more, or I intend that I'm more organized in my delivery as far as in messages and stuff like that and write down things that I'd like to share, um, the major points that I'd like to share and then expand on those through a series of videos, but also allow for where it's not so tailored, you know, where I still allow for freedom for expression of the things that come up on a, on a regular, on an ongoing basis, such as today. So I hope to spend time with you soon.